Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to KSNT News here on your Tuesday. Here's your morning rush to start off your day. A local organization is doing their part to help victims of the hurricane, and you can help too. The Sheepdog Impact Assistance Organization is now sending disaster relief teams to Texas today through September 5th. They're asking for donations of brooms, large shovels, bottled water, Clorox wipes, and safety glasses. You can drop all of this off at the Topeka Fire Department Station, which is on Southwest 21st and Urish Road. The group will accept donations through this Thursday. And as the storm continues to wreak havoc on the Gulf Coast, you'll soon begin to feel the effects of it while you're filling up at the pump. Here's a live look right now at the Murphy's Express over on Wanamaker here in Topeka. Gas prices are $2.15 there at that station right now. According to AAA, about one quarter of oil refining capacity in the Gulf Coast had been taken offline, which will cause gas prices to go up over the next couple of weeks. The average price Price of gas in Kansas today is about 2.20 per gallon, which is up two cents from a week ago. The largest weekly gas price does increase in the state, where uh, the, the increases were in Kansas City, Lawrence, Salina, and Wichita. And if you hear some loud noises today near Manhattan or Ogden, well, don't worry. The Riley County Police Department sent this tweet out yesterday saying, Fort Riley's Ordinance Company will be doing training today through Thursday. So be aware, those drills will involve some loud explosions in the area. And some good news this morning for people in Shawnee and Wabunsee counties. The Willard Bridge is now back open to traffic. A dedication ceremony took place on the bridge yesterday afternoon. The bridge closed back in June and caused a 22-mile detour for people wanting to get from Willard to Rossville. The bridge, though, is now open and also is pedestrian and bike-friendly. One Kansas farmer is now hoping his sunflower field will bring a whole lot of visitors this upcoming Labor Day weekend. George Hunsinger has a six-acre field of sunflowers just south of Lawrence, which is off of 59 Highway. He says they should be in full bloom by this weekend. Some of the flowers there even grow as tall as 12 feet. In its first season last year, the field attracted more than 100,000 visitors. Visitors are welcome to photograph the flowers for free and can also also take home a bloom for a suggested donation of one dollar per flower. Kyle, I know you've been uh, several times before yeah. to the farm, mm -hmm. uh, but I have not. I'm hoping to go this year, and uh, it's looking like weather will be pretty nice this weekend to go out and see yeah. the flowers. It's looking great. Lots of sun for those sunflowers there. And seriously, guys, throw him a couple bucks. Yes. What he should do? We were talking about, about, about it before. He could but charge. Yeah, you know, he <laughs> should he should rope off the farm and say ten bucks per person to come in. But he doesn't do that. It's for free. So throw him a couple bucks for sure, and it's beautiful there. A great place to take senior pictures. Yes. Or a Christmas card. Oh, yes. It's awesome. Let's get to the four.